Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about Zoom. Zoom is now in Clever. So when I scroll down, I can find the blue and white Zoom button and click on it. It's going to take us to our Zoom profile page. And in the upper right hand corner, we have schedule a meeting, join or host a meeting. We are suggesting to schedule a meeting. Okay. We can just title this check in. We can write down a description if you choose, and then we can schedule it the time and the date. There we go. We can also change the duration to a time range of our choice. Okay. All right, so there are other information listed. Most importantly is the meeting password. We are suggesting to use a password. That means not only do you share the link with students, you share the password as well. So they need to click on the link and then enter in the password and then they could join your Zoom meeting. The other features on this page um, are down here under meeting options. I always enable waiting room. That means any student joining a meeting is first placed in a virtual waiting room. The host gets an alert when anyone joins that waiting room, and then the host or teacher in, accepts them into the Zoom meeting one by one. Check off, record the meeting automatically on the local computer. That results in a downloaded file on your computer. I toggle that on because in the MOU, we are asked to record our meetings. Um, mute participants upon entry, that is optional. You can or not, that is up to you, but here is where you would toggle it on if you choose to. And then I can save. Okay, so Once I save, I have a bunch of information listed and it's all the settings that I've um, requested or that I've put in place. Now you get the join URL. So this URL and this password are what needs to be shared. You can also copy the invitation It has a lot of information, including the URL and the password. Students can use a phone as well to join your meeting. Okay. All right, the last thing that I wanna talk about is this settings option. I'm not going to get too detailed with it, but I do want to draw your attention to it. There are some settings that you want to be aware of for security and control. One of them is chat. Okay. So you can turn chat off altogether, or you can allow only you, the teacher, to put in announcements in that chat. And I also check off prevent participants from saving chat, not the security measure. Okay. If you don't want students to share files, then you can turn this off. Screen sharing. If this is a situation where you, the host, is going to be 
doing all the talking and there's no need for screen share, then you can turn on host only. Um, but if you do turn on all participants can share, then you want to have host only as the person who controls that. Just to let you know that you can annotate over screens. So if you share your screen and there's a document there, there are annotation tools that you can use and a whiteboard option. And one last thing that I want to highlight is virtual background. Normally this is clicked on, which means you and participants have the capability to change your background. You can upload a picture of space or you can upload a picture of the beach. I suggest or we suggest as a team to turn this off just in case kids want to uh, test the boundaries. So turning that feature off curbs some of the shenanigans that could happen. Okay, and this is another place that you can turn on the waiting room. So that's Zoom um, in a very, very quick explanation. If you have any additional comments, please, please reach out to Caleb, myself, or Nicole. We are here to help. Thank you.